Welcome back to the show. I'm Jay, he's Dan. Friend of the show, Phil Manning, is in action today against the Devils. That is one defense that I would not want to play against. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Wow, things are really heating up down on the field. Man, that rivalry is getting hotter than Gino Red in a thong. Okay. Now let's check in with Sam down on the field. Take it away, Sam. Hi, this is Sam Sasnick here at Thunderbird Stadium, reporting to you live for TSN. We're here watching the UEC Thunderbirds play their most rivaled opponents, the Devils. In particular, we're wanting to watch the infamous Phil Manning. He has been playing absolutely incredible this season. It's getting a little rough out there, and it is pouring out here. So let's check it in. Oh shoot, it looks like our star player, Phil Manning, is down. Come with me. Phil, Phil, it's Heather. Are you feeling okay? Where does it hurt? Uh, right shoulder. Doc, is it serious? What's, what's it looking like for Phil here? Phil said he's experiencing extreme pain in his right shoulder, but I really can't comment at this time. We're going to have to take it into the trainer's room. Okay, thanks for your time. I'm just going to quickly reduce your shoulder here. Try and relax. It really shouldn't hurt too much. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Just slowly getting up here. And how does your pain level feel? Can you tell the difference? It's much better. Much okay, better. awesome. We're going to have to send you off for x-rays now. Hello, I'm Eric. I'll be your radiologist today. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So I just reviewed your X-rays and MRIs, and uh, I can you can be happy to know that they are negative for any fractures, uh, muscle ligament tears, or any neurological damage. So I'll speak to your team physician, and uh, hopefully they can refer you to a physio. Okay, perfect. Great, Great to hear, Matt. Thanks. Thank you. Hi, welcome to the Physiotherapy Clinic. Who are you here to see? Kimberly. Hi there. Hi. You must be Phila. Yeah. I'm Kim. Nice to meet you. I'll be your physio if you just want to take a seat here. Alright, so I received a referral from your team physician that you dislocated your shoulder here. Yes. Uh, so basically I'll just be helping you to strengthen your shoulder and so you can be able to move it through different ranges of motion without uh, feeling any pain. Uh, basically we'll have three phases that we'll walk through and I'll show you different exercises that you can do at home uh, so we can get a full recovery. Perfect. The following rehabilitation protocol is based on level one evidence. Based on evidence from the Cochrane database, immobilization of the arm in an external rotation better aligns the ligaments of the shoulder. However, we decided to immobilize the arm in internal rotation because it is more practical and comfortable. This reduces the chance of re-injuring the shoulder in early stages of rehabilitation. So for the first two weeks, uh, during this phase one, we'll have you in your sling uh, to keep your shoulder comfortable and to reduce any more injuries. Uh, as well, it'll, I'll give you some few gentle exercises that you can do at home uh, without the sling to uh, reduce pain uh, and in reduce stiffness in the arm. exercises and you've had your sling on so we can move on uh, to the rest of the rehab you can take the sling off now congratulations so next uh, here the main focus of this phase is to increase your range of motion further as well as to increase your muscle strength especially in the rotator cuff and also to re-establish the muscle balance in your shoulder Cheese and mustard, I got the stats of my whole of fame. And just two records, that's why I'm back up at the Super Bowl with Julius Peppers. I got that can't stop, won't stop in my veins. So the purpose of this phase is to regain uh, muscular control so you can go back to those functional activities, sports specific activities uh, in football. So basically they'll help you to regain neuromuscular control in your shoulder, as well as we'll be performing exercises where the shoulder is in unstable conditions, so it's fully challenged. 
Evidence from the Cochrane database has shown that surgically treating an anterior shoulder dislocation significantly reduces the likelihood of a subsequent dislocation. However, with regards to Phil's first dislocation, his desire to return to action that same season caused us to choose a conservative approach to treatment. This time around, we have chosen the surgical route, as this will hopefully allow Phil to return next season with a strong and stable shoulder. And we're back here at Thunderbird Stadium. This time, it's training camp. 
The season's about to start, there's been rigorous training all summer, and we're all interested in how Phil Manning's doing. Hey Doc, how's it going? Good, yeah, thanks for following up. Uh, in regards to Phil's current prognosis, uh, he's recovered fully from surgery, and we're really looking forward to him making an impact on the field this season.